Oh, Trump is for the church. God is with Trump. Oh, okay. Pray, let God show you Trump's assignment. Trump is a destroyer. He's there to destroy. You ignore it. The thing is gone. You don't have to shout fire, fire, holy good. Hey, hey. Pray for Donald Trump and prophesying. I've seen it, I've seen a vision too. And I saw at the last minute a red flag was thrown away and a blue flag was being waved. And the Lord told me, He said, This woman in purple has entered a covenant that will bring something next month. It's going to look like a shaming, it's going to look like something that she will do that will trend, you know, maybe for one week, maybe for some days. But the aim is to get people to laugh at her. That's her victory. I want Donald Trump to win, not because Donald Trump is the savior of America. The Lord told me he's the destroyer of America. He will be seen as one of the worst presidents if he's re-elected. But he will bring a necessary problem America needs for God to work at least. God will not keep prospering the proud. He will destroy it for him to work. So be careful of the Messiah you are hailing. Because he may not bring deliverance the way you think. Oh, Trump is for the church. God is with Trump. Okay. Pray, let God show you Trump's assignment. Trump is a destroyer. He's there to destroy. Kamala Harris will come and she would try to win the people to build. But it's a false peace. What will sweep over America if that woman wins? It will be terrible. So these are two evils, but one is unto redemption. So this is how a prophet speaks. We don't speak with popular opinion. Sometimes I pray. Hmm. It's, it's people that misunderstand prophecy. I am a sign. Just watch September. When they laugh, don't laugh. But however, since this world is pursuing amusement, that's why we need to grow. 